Angeles ramping up testing for both COVID-19 infections and the new antibody test. This comes as a special team will hit the streets of Skid Row to test homeless people for the coronavirus. KTLA's Christina Pascucci live at the Emergency Operations Center in downtown LA with details on that. Christina, good morning. Jess, good morning to you. And right now we are joined by Dr. Mark Epstein. Epstein, he is uh, the commander for the Emergency Medical Services Bureau. Thank you so much for being with us. I know at this point in the city of LA, anyone who has symptoms can get tested, but what's next for you guys? Right now we're focusing on the most vulnerable Angelinos. Those are the homeless and also those residents and workers at nursing, nursing homes and skilled nursing facilities. And today you're also launching the homelessness testing uh, off Skid Row and locally. So how does that work? So we have a huge commitment of resources run by mostly the fire department with our county partners to really do focus testing on the homeless because they're the most vulnerable people. And when a homeless person gets COVID, they have the highest risk of creating a hotspot and a mini epidemic in Skid Row. So they will get the rapid testing today and then you'll have ambulances available that will take them directly to quarantine if need be. They're gonna be getting tested with the same kits we've been using citywide. The results come back in less than a day and patients who are symptomatic will be treated as presumptive positive for COVID-19. I will be encouraging these individuals to take advantage of tier two housing, which is transport to designated hotels. Okay, let's talk about the serology antibody test. Is that the golden ticket to try to start getting back to normal? Well, we hope so. It's most, of the, most of the serology kits are really not ready for prime time. There's concerns of, of how accurate they are. Our main concern is if someone has antibodies for coronavirus, we need to make sure it's COVID-19 and not the coronavirus that causes the common cold. So if it's a false positive, that may get people a false sense of security and could put them in harm's way. So lead scientists in the USC LA County antibody study are going to discuss early results today at one. What do you know about that? Well, I think it's an ambitious goal. I think serology testing is very, very important, but I think the jury's still out on how accurate and reliable these tests are right now. Okay, and last thing we wanna leave people with, let's look at the new telemedicine program that LAFD is launching. Take a look. We're connecting via telemedicine to see if we can, you know, uh, figure out what we can do for you uh, okay. at home. All right. So, uh, so you're saying you're uh, feeling sick and been having the fever for about a week. So, Dr. Exton, just to, to wrap, leave us with um, what this telemedicine program does. So, telemedicine program under the leadership of Fire Chief Tarazos and Mayor Garcetti. Basically, when patients call 911 and they have symptoms suggestive of COVID-19, we want to minimize exposure of first responders and minimize and, and really eliminate unnecessary ambulance transport to emergency department. They're connected via real-time video mm -hmm. to experienced physicians and advanced practitioners to determine which of those patients can be safely treated at home. With no dispatching of an ambulance, we send them aftercare instructions and we keep the system afloat in anticipation of the surge. A lot of information to cover. Thank you so much. And we appreciate people uh, sending the information in. For more information on testing, go to coronavirus.lacity.org. If your question wasn't answered during this story right now, um, we're going to get to them and I'll answer them also on social media. And then coming up later on the KTLA 5 Morning News, when Dr. Eckstein thinks we might start to be able to return to normal. I'll send it back to you.